a reading from the book of wisdom chapter 6 verses 12 to 16 wisdom is found by those who look for her wisdom is bright and does not grow dim by those who love her she is readily seen and found by those who look for her quick to anticipate those who desire her she makes herself known to them watch for her early and you will have no trouble you will find her sitting at your gates even to think about her is understanding fully grown be on the alert for her and anxiety will quickly leave you she herself walks about looking for those who are worthy of her and graciously shows herself to them as they go in every thought of theirs coming to meet them the word of the lord thanks be to god responsorial psalm for you my soul is thirsting o god my god for you my soul is thirsting o god my god o god you are my god for you i long for you my soul is thirsting my body pines for you like a dry weary land without water your response for you my soul is thirsting o god my god so i gaze on you in the sanctuary to see your strength and your glory for your love is better than life my lips will speak your praise your response for you my soul is thirsting o god my god So I will bless you all my life in your name I will lift up my hands my soul shall be filled as with a banquet my mouth shall praise you with joy your response for you my soul is thirsting o god my god on my bed I remember you on you I muse through the night for you have been my help in the shadow of your wings I rejoice your response for you my soul is thirsting o god my god second reading a reading from the first letter of saint paul to the thessalonians chapter 4 verses 13 to 18 do not grieve about those who have died in jesus we want you to be quite certain brothers about those who have died to make sure that you do not grieve about them like the other people who have no hope we believe that jesus died and rose again and that it will be the same for those who have died in jesus god will bring them with him we can tell you this from the lord's own teachings that any of us who are left alive until the lord's coming will not have any advantage over those who have died at the trumpet of god the voice of the archangel will call out the command and the lord himself will come down from heaven those who have died in christ will be the first to rise and then those of us who are still alive will be taken up in the clouds together with them to meet the lord in the air so we shall stay with the lord forever with such thoughts as these you should come for one another the word of the lord thanks be to god gospel acclamation alleluia alleluia stay awake and stand ready because you do not know the hour when the son of man is coming alleluia the lord be with you and with your spirit A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Chapter twenty-five, verses one to thirteen. Jesus told this parable to his disciples. The kingdom of heaven will be like this. Ten bridesmaids took their lamps and went to meet. the bridegroom five of them were foolish and five were sensible the foolish ones 
did take their lamps, but they brought no oil. Whereas the sensible ones took flasks of oil as well as their lamps. The bridegroom was late, and they all grew drowsy and fell asleep. But at midnight there was a cry, The bridegroom is here, go out and meet him. At this all those bridemaids woke up and trimmed their lamps. And the foolish ones said to the sensible ones, Give us some of your oil, our lamps are going out. But they replied, There may not be enough for us and for you. You had better go to those who sell it and buy some for yourselves. They had gone off to buy it when the bridegroom arrived. Those who were ready went in with him to the wedding hall, and the door was closed. The other bridesmaids arrived later. Lord, Lord, they said, open the door for us. But he replied, I tell you solemnly, I do not know you. So stay awake, because you do not know either the day or the hour. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Dear brothers and sisters, whether to know that wisdom is common or it is not so common. The Book of Wisdom tells us that we must seek for wisdom and we will find. If we do not pay attention, then we will not find this great wisdom we need to live with each other. St. Paul tells us that we are not to grieve for those who have died in Christ, for those who believed in Christ because they live. They do not remain in the grave. They have risen. In the Gospel reading we see that Jesus reiterates you and me that we should remain awake and vigilant. There is a beautiful parable about the virgins. Some who didn't bother about the bridegroom's arrival, for they thought that they will naturally be awake. They thought that they will prepare when the time comes. But there were others who were ready with the lamp and the oil. They were ready with their garments, their dress. And when the bridegroom comes, these bridesmaids receive the master and have the privilege of entering inside the hall, the most precious place. And those who didn't pay attention and remained drowsy and sleepy, they were looking for oil, for their lamps had finished all the oil. They remained awake at the wrong time when the Lord, their master, the bridegroom had already closed the door after his entry. 
they shout, Lord, Lord, and he says, Who are you? I do not know you. Dear brothers and sisters, we live for Christ because Christ is the beginning, the end, and our eternal life. We live with him and we die with him in order to rise again. But if we negate life, we do not bother about what Christ expects of us in this world, then he will say to you and to me, I do not know who you are. When we are in joys and happiness, when we are in money, wealth, we tend to forget God. And we return to Him when we are sick, fragile, tired, dying, and weak. Even when isolated and lonely. But the Lord gives us an opportunity to be with Him every moment by being vigilant. As long as I know I live, I must praise God. I must worship Him. I must remain in His presence. Whether I am in my school, studying, teaching, in my workplace, I'm at home, or wherever, in joys or in sorrows, I must think of the Lord every moment. So my dear friends, let us remain vigilant today and all the days to come so that we are worthy to be received in the kingdom of God. Amen.